apologize to UK. Megan tastes hell as Margaret Thatcher's former aide drop cruel mockery on her. Meghan Markle has been told to get a different job by a former government advisor after she and her husband Prince Harry returned to the US following the recent Queen's Platinum Jubilee celebrations. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex attempted to keep a low profile throughout their UK visit, which was their longest since stepping back as senior royals two years ago. The Sussexes, who brought along their children Archie and Lilibet, were relegated to second-row royal status on several occasions during the four-day public celebrations and even missed the concluding Platinum Jubilee pageant. They were already on the plane home as the spectacular started, with no fanfare as they quietly snuck back across the Atlantic to their US home. Prince Harry didn't even meet privately with his brother Prince William while in the UK as their frosty relationship continued, and it has been reported that the younger brother would have felt angry at being practically ignored by his family. It is also thought he feels he is owed an apology for what he perceives his poor treatment at the firm's hands. But Niall Gardner, a former aide to Margaret Thatcher and foreign policy analyst, feels that apologies should come from the Duchess of Sussex. He said, I am still waiting for Meghan Markle's apology to the royal family and the British people for all her failed attacks on the monarchy. Judging by the massive success of the Queen's Platinum Jubilee, her campaign hasn't been a great success. She may want to think about a different career. Gardner appeared to refer to the couple's bombshell interview with Oprah Winfrey back in 2021 in which she accused a member of the royal family of racism, while Prince Harry lashed out at his father Prince Charles for being absent during his childhood. The Duchess of Sussex also accused the palace of perpetuating falsehoods and suggested one of the most senior people rejected her pleas for help. Meanwhile, Meghan Markle has been branded the royal family's saviour by a commentator who claimed the monarchy is in a bit of a sorry state without her. Commentator Gareth MacLean said the Duke and Duchess of Sussex were a blueprint for modernising the royal family as he warned the end of the Queen's reign would lead to a radical reappraisal of the firm. Writing for Newsweek, Mr MacLean said, in those circumstances, bold thinking like Harry and Meghan's might make the difference between Britain becoming a republic and its retaining a slimmed-down Scandi-style monarchy. Put it this way, British taxpayers have supported the monarchy for a thousand years so why not let Netflix for a bit? Say it quietly, whisper it, if you will, but the truth is this, Meghan is not the Windsor's nemesis but rather their saviour. Because without her, they are a bit of a sorry state, as demonstrated by the presence of the so-called Magnificent Seven on Buckingham Palace's famous balcony at the end of the Jubilee pageantry. The finale of the Platinum Jubilee saw the Queen step out alongside Prince Charles, Camilla, Prince William, Kate, Prince George, Princess Charlotte, and Prince Louis. Mr. McLean added, three pensioners, three under-tens, and William and Kate. Hardly the England World Cup side in 66, is it? The commentator also insisted the Platinum Jubilee was a missed opportunity for the royals to reach out to Meghan and Prince Harry. The Sussexes travelled from California to the UK for the bank holiday weekend of celebrations. The visit came just over two years after they quit as working royals for a new life in the US. It also came a year after their Oprah Winfrey interview which saw them make a series of bombshell claims about the monarchy. Harry and Meghan stepped out with the Windsors for the service of Thanksgiving at St Paul's Cathedral. But they were absent from many of the other festivities during the four days. And their relegated seats at the service were a sign of their change in royal status. The Sussexes were in the second row behind working royals, while Charles, Camilla, Prince William and Kate were far across the aisle. Thank you.